All right, today's daily rehab session is about strengthening your shin muscles to help you with ankle stability. Now this is past the early sort of rehab phase where you're working on a little bit of inversion and eversion, a little bit of balance. This is down the track a little bit to try and stop your ankle rolling out or rolling in. Now what we're gonna do is actually do it on a stable surface because if you've been doing balance work like on a BOSU or on a wobble board, which helps with your connection from mind to muscle and getting your balance a little bit better to help improve strength through your ankle, maybe you've sprained it, maybe you've had surgery, that's great and you need to do that work. But this is a separate part of the recipe to try and improve your ankle strength and stability through getting muscles on the outside of your shin and on the inside of your shin a little bit stronger. And we do it in a weight bearing position. So it's very effective for those people returning to sport and making sure they're sort of trying to prevent ankle injuries by stopping rolling their ankle. So what you'll need is a mini power band. Well, this is the one I use the most for this. This is like a very skinny mini power band. Don't use a thick one because it's just way too heavy. If you don't have one of those, just use a normal TheraBand. Now that's a tubing one. You could use a wide one as well. That's also effective. Um, but if you can, go for that. If you can't, just use this one. I'll show you how to use this one in a minute. What you need is something that it's going to tie around. Could be a pole in the gym, could be your sofa, could be a heavy dining room table. Doesn't matter, as long as it's something that you can attach it to. Now, what you do is you put it around the ankle in question, say, this is my left foot, and not in shoes, because you need to be able to roll your ankle joint, okay, into inversion, eversion, so do it without shoes. Um, make sure you get the band, don't put it around the bottom of the ankle like that, okay? It needs to be actually on your tip and fib, because then it'll create a drag which you have to counteract with your ankle joint below the band. All right, so just make a point of that. It is sitting above your malleolus, above the ankle. So there's my fibular malleolus, there's my tibia malleolus, it's sitting above that, right? So what it's doing is it's putting this drag here, it's putting my foot, so if I'm facing this way, into that movement there, okay? It's pulling into e vision, it's rolling my ankle in, it's crashing my arch, okay? So if I just let that go, boof, it goes inwards. So the resistance for the band is going to affect me when I pull outwards on the inside of the shin, so my tibialis posterior. Also, if I try really hard, it's going to give me my tib ant because my tib ant also assists a little bit of that inversion movement there. Okay, so if you think about it, if I can just show you here, you're going to go from that sort of flat footed E version fully pulled in to pulling outwards like that, okay? Once you've got the idea of, okay, this is what I've got to do. I've got to go from fully sort of everted, dropped my arch, rolled my ankle in, if you like, to strengthening up that way, then you've got to do it in standing, okay? So you've got that movement. Then when you do it in standing, preferably full weight bearing. If you've got good balance and you're just trying to train the strength of your ankle, then you can do it standing, all right? You might need to hold onto a pole, you might have put your hand out, or if you haven't got anything available like that, maybe this is down on a, on a sofa, on the sofa and you don't have a pole like this, you could just put your foot, your other foot back on your toe, but don't weight bear through the back foot. Keep your full weight on the front foot. This back foot is simply for balance, just like I would be maybe holding onto there. So I'll do it up here for today. If you look at this now, so now that I'm fully weight bearing, all my muscles are on, but I'm trying to slowly let it roll inwards. So I'm going to in eversion, I should say, you'll notice when I do that, this border comes up a little bit, which is what sort of, if this was happening badly, this is what would happen, say, where people have flat feet or they roll their knees in and they get shin splints. So that weakness there. So this is actually quite good for people who, a, recovering from ankle injuries, but also people have shin splints. So when you uh, try to pull out, I'm trying to roll my ankle into that inversion position, trying as much as I can to keep the big toe knuckle down, okay? So that met head there, I'm trying to keep that down as much as I can and not let it lift off the ground. So from there, pulling outwards and sort of almost rotating through that ankle joint, if you like. Think about it sort of coming from in and out. And like I said, that's going to work on a couple of the crucial shin splint muscles that help 
keep that ankle in line when you land, and it helps strengthen the ankle up. It improves your ability to control your ankle because of the resistance. Now, that's going one way. All you do is keep it on the same foot and simply turn around and work on the other direction. So this way here, again, if I get that band, if I come down here again, I think, okay, what am I gonna do? I want it to actually roll into that inversion position, like you're rolling your ankle. This is what we're trying to prevent, right? We're trying to prevent your ankle, bang, rolling out and spraining again. So when I try and go from there, I'm trying to pull on the band and pull myself back. Not pulling my knee in, okay? Keeping my knee stable, this is what we do in the standing, and just letting my ankle underneath roll out and then roll in. Now when I pull inwards and I stretch the band, there's the resistance, I'm gonna work on my everters here, my perineals. And they're the ones that are gonna save me from rolling my ankle over. So once I've got that movement there, okay, I know what I'm doing. Go back up into the standing. Like I said, either put your toe at the back there for balance or your hand here for balance. And you're gonna let it roll inwards, trying to keep this big toe down as much as you can. Some people with really stiff feet like me have a bit of trouble doing that. But you're aiming to then pull and then almost lift the border of that outside foot. So you're trying to think about coming from there and then lifting here, if you can. Okay, and that will generate all the work. Now, if you look at my perineal tendon down the back here, if you look at this one down here, when I go in here, you'll see it kick in and fire up. There it is there. And then it releases when I go into inversion. So can you imagine like, see that movement there? That's when it kicks in. You can see that fire up. That's why I need my perineal strong because it, if you look at when I roll my ankle, they switch off. All right, so if they are really weak through here from ankle sprain, I'm gonna continually roll my ankle outwards. So you wanna be thinking about, okay, I need to work on this one quite a bit if, I'm an, if I've got an old sprained ankle and I keep rolling my ankle outwards. So that would be the way you do it. I would do both ways for ankles, but if you wanna bias it, this way would be more like, oh, I've got collapsed arches, my, my knees roll in when I run because my ankle's unstable or I get shin splints. So if your ankle does both, you go both ways. And for most people who have had ankle sprains or had ankle surgery, we get them doing both ways to strengthen up in both directions. And then they can work out, well, which one is their, their worst at, and they focus on that the most. So that's in addition to all the balance work we do to try and get that single leg loading capability and getting that strength improved both in inversion and in eversion in weight bearing. Just a quick one before I go, I talked about this band. If you don't have a power band, put that around and then put your foot through the loops and then have both loops there and then work on it that way. Now obviously this is not as strong as a power band, so you can just go further out and you'll get the load there, all right? So put your band around a pole or sofa leg or something like that, and that'll work just as well.